Yo, what's up guys, it's Rui here, and today I got you guys another deck for the Community Deck Series. This deck is brought to you by Best Pleb EU, which is supposedly one of the best players on EU, other than Aaron LOL. Now, he is a moderator for the official Absolver Discord, so if you want to see this video and hit him up and be like, Yo, I love your deck, that would be cool for him, um, or cool for me. Anyways, let's get into the deck. Alright guys, as usual, we usually read the attack sequences first within the combat deck, and then we move over to the alternative attacks. So, let's go ahead and start off with top right stance, which starts off with crouching elbow, followed up with spinning flute swing, finished off with rising kick. The alternative attack for top right stance is side kick. Moving on to top left stance, it starts off with curled up uppercut, followed up with crushing palm, finished off with pushed back kick. The alternative attack for top left stance is Jar Bash. Starting off with bottom left stance, we have Stretch Out Hook, followed up with Do It Changi, finished off with Liver Knee. The alternative attack for bottom left stance is Low Spin Heel. Moving on to bottom right stance, we have Spin Back Fist, followed up with Wall Up Blow, and there is no attack in the third slot for bottom right stance. The alternative attack for bottom right stance is Whirlwind Double Punch. Alright guys, so let's look at the deck a little bit more. So in the bottom right stance we have Wind World Double Punch that goes into Crouching Elbow. And just like my personal deck, you can loop this, which I love to death. So that gives you a lot of options there. I definitely like that top right stance, it has a sidekick and it leads into Jar Bash and then it just goes back into each other over and over. Another cool thing about this is that these two are alternative attacks. Sidekick can go straight into top left stance if we really want to and then Jar Bash can go straight into crouching elbow if we really want to. I just think that aspect of it is just really cool. So that gives you a lot more options. Um, I do like the top left and bottom left string just based on the fact that it has stopping attacks as a second part of the string and one of them having a um, pushed back kick, which is even better. I do like that this one follows up with the liver knee because this attack, do it Changi, can push them back a little bit. So having liver knee definitely comes in handy. And it's cool to actually delay liver knee because it's almost guaranteed after someone does a dodge. Overall though, I think this deck is pretty solid. And in terms of like the speed of the deck, it already seems like something that I'm gonna love using. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the fights. All right, we're finally using Pleb's deck today so we can see how we perform with it. Um, I hope we do well. That's all I can really say, but only time will tell. We haven't fought an actual person yet, so yeah. I mean, I warmed up in terms of just fighting with the deck and meditation because I had no clue on how to feel about the deck. I'm not the greatest at windfalls, so I don't know. Our dodging is going to be a little off, but let's see if we can change that today. Nice. <laughs> oh, I kind of understand his deck so far, so that's gonna be a little, a little weird for him. I would shockwave this heal, but it's not a big deal. This guy really wants to get this parry off. Yeah, people who do that, uh, you gotta work on your stuff, man. Maybe he's not warmed up, so maybe, you know, that's why he's being out fainted. But I don't know, if you fall for a faint every time and you decide to parry, you really gotta practice on that. Alright, so he's going with straights now. My controller wasn't responding. Ooh. Don't tell me today is like the day I'm magically okay with Windfall. He's not paying attention to his stamina at all. He's also got a lot of straights, which is really bad for him. He should definitely change that. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, really? This guy in his parries, man. He's trying his hardest to get a fucking punish. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I knew it was coming. Oh, nice try, man. I'm willing to do a best two out of three. I always... Okay, you're gone. Ringolio? I've never actually heard of this guy, so he could be a smurf. That's always the first thought. But, again, I don't know. I've never seen this name a day in my life. So, our first match was pretty solid. Um, There's not much to say. This deck performs really well, though. <laughs> it's got everything you really need. The one thing I still don't like, though, is I don't have a starter as that's a low, except for low spin hill, which is still fine. But, I don't know. This is another guy who has a lot of straights. He's also got Mawashi. I highly recommend, if you want to have a good deck, do not use Mawashi. Uramashi is fine. Mawashi, do not use. Because Mawashi, you can side dodge and you can low dodge it. So it's like, what's the point, honestly? Yeah, he was really trying to get that dodge off. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, his deck has got a lot of disadvantages. So as long as we can exploit that, we're fine. I really do like this deck, though. I think this is my favorite deck that I've used in the series so far. But then again, this deck just fits my playstyle, so... It could be bad for somebody else, you know? Oh, I try to get. I try to lock on and dodge him because I saw it coming. All right, I like, I'm liking the moves. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 the comeback, boys. Oh, Jesus. I feel a straight coming right away. So we're going to go straight for low spin heal. You're going to fall for that every time. Nice. Got him. Got him. Yeah, poor guy. He's got too many straights for him to actually be able to capitalize on anything. And he left too. Okay. Alright, looks like we're fighting Pinecraft. Um, link down in the description. He's also a streamer, I believe. Not a bad player by any means. Um, I do think the biggest thing that he tends to do is backstagger a lot. Depending on what deck I'm playing, like with my own decks, usually I kind of wait for him to do it and then execute off of it. Um, it's kind of unfair for him though because I did warm up against him earlier, so I'm kind of just used to what his deck does. Uh, so far what I've realized is the best time to execute on him, at least with this deck, is when he goes for his hammer kick. But I don't think he's caught on to that yet, so we'll just continue to do so. Yeah, I love that crouching elbow loop with uh, Wind World Double Punch. That's like my favorite loop of all time. It comes in so much handy. Definitely against Windfall players. But I think he staggers, so I mean, I don't know. He could, I don't know, backstaggering out of that is a choice. You'd have to do it really fucking early though. Hammer kick. He's not watching his stamina. 
now. Oh, shockwave. I didn't even know you had that. Oh, couldn't even get a heal off. Oh, what? Yo, this is hitting me hard. Hammer kick win. There it is. Yeah, you see what I mean though? He backstaggers a lot. Gotta get out of this corner. Oh, those are fist cuffs. I don't like those. Shockwave, jar bat. GG. Damn. I actually really like Pleb's deck. I really, really like this deck. I can't even lie to you. Man, yeah, Pleb, you definitely have the all-time favorite deck in this series so far. That should have hit me. Are we lagging? Yeah. And it's back to normal? That was a spike for sure. I guess I'm host, maybe? I don't know. It was such a fast spike. I don't know what that was about. You have charged Haymaker? What? You've used that the whole fight. Nice try, man. Nice try. Would you like to go best two out of three? I also know he doesn't like the way I play, so I'm not surprised that he left. It's understandable. GG's, though. Enya Nawu? I've never heard of that name a day in my life. This is someone completely different. Alright, let's see what you're about, man. Alright, Edgewalk of Justice there. Alright. Alright, so you're Windfall as well. You already backdashed. Okay, that's a heavy hit. He keeps trying to start up with that heavy hit. Though I wasn't watching my stamina, I know I can get out of it. Alright, so his major focus is getting a windfall dodge off, I'm assuming, or getting a void off, which I don't know why that's his focus. I mean, you haven't really fought me yet. You don't know what the deck's about, so going straight for that's kind of risky. You gotta fill the deck out before you do all that, man. A lot of horizontals going on here. Windfall avoids for no reason. I don't know why he's attempting. It hasn't been working for him, so going on the defense would be smart right now. And he keeps trying to open with that hard hitting move, and it's like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, nice. I didn't know you had that. Nice. Nope. That was a lot of lows. Didn't know you had that much. Alright, let's be that guy and just watch his stamina drop. There it is. Yep, gotta watch your stamina, dude. But his aggression was nice towards the end, for sure. We can go best two out of three. Or not. But yeah, I think you guys get the gist of the deck. It's a really solid deck. It's really easy to get into. I highly recommend you guys try it out. I believe Pleb is a PC player. So if you're on PS4, you're going to have to go to the beginning of the video and try to put the deck together in your combat deck editor. So yeah, no school here. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, can give it a thumbs up. Once again, he is a moderator for the official Absolver Discord. So go ahead and hit him up and tell him you like his deck, etc. If you have any questions, ask him. But yeah, without further ado, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Stay frosty and there's more to come.